हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग थ्रू द नेशनल एग्जिट टेस्ट नेक्स्ट एग्जाम पैटर्न इन नेक्स्ट स्टेप वन देर विल बी सिक्स पेपर्स दिस इंक्लूड्स मेडिसिन एंड अलाइड सब्जेक्ट सर्जरी एंड अलाइड सब्जेक्ट ऑप्स्टेरिक्स एंड गाइनेकोलॉजी पीडियाट्रिक ऑटो राइनो लेरिंगोलॉजी एंड ऑप्थेरमोलॉजी इन मेडिसिन एंड अलाइड सब्जेक्ट सर्जरी एंड अलाइड सब्जेक्ट्स एंड ऑप्स्टेरिक्स एंड गाइनेकोलॉजी देर विल बी वन ट्वेंटी एम सी क्यूज इन ईच पेपर एंड टोटल टाइम ड्यूरेशन for each paper will be 3 hours in pediatrics otorhinolaryngology and ophthalmology there will be 60 mcqs in each paper and time duration for these three papers will be 1 and 1/2 hours in each paper 10 percentage items will pertain to applied aspect of anatomy physiology biochemistry microbiology pathology pharmacology and forensic medicine relevant to subject evaluated that means in each subject paper you will get 10 percentage items of the applied aspect of preclinical and paraclinical subjects in each paper 10 percentage items will pertain to applied aspect of public health or community medicine relevant to the subject evaluated that means in all of these papers 10 percentage items will be of the applied aspect of preclinical and paraclinical subjects plus 10 percentage items of the applied aspect of public health or community medicine so 10 percentage this one and 10 percentage this one that means out of 100 percentage 20 percentage include all these things and other 80 percentage will be the subject related questions all right the proposed time schedule of paper so next step one examination will going to be held in 5 days with 2 days rest in between So on the first day you will have medicine and allied subject total duration three hours of examination. After three hours you will get two hours of the break, and again you have to appear for the pediatrics examination that is one and half hours. On the second day there will be rest, no examination. On the third day you will appear for the surgery and allied subjects three hours exam. After that you will get two hours break. and after the break you have to give the auto rhino laryngology one and half hour exam on the fourth day there will be the rest day no examination and on the fifth day you have to give the obstetrics and gynecology three hours exam which is followed by two hours of break and after two hours break there will be the examination of the ophthalmology which is one and half hours so that is the proposed time schedule of the papers for the next step one In the next step one MCQ items in all subjects shall be distributed approximately as follows around 65 percentage of all the questions there will be the problem solving and analytical skill types 25 percentage questions will be comprehension type and 10 percentage questions will be recall type in 65 percentage questions will assess your problem solving and analytical skills 25 percentage questions will be of the comprehension type and 10 percentage will be of the recall type the level of knowledge related to the acquisition of competencies shall be approximately 60 percentage must know type of questions 30 percentage nice to know type of questions and 10 percentage may know type of questions that means the toughest questions in all papers will be around 10 percentage and these are the may know type of questions as we discussed previously in the next step one examination you required 50 percentage or half of the maximum possible row marks that means for example the paper of 120 marks then you required 60 marks for the passing you have to score 50 percentage in each paper for the next step one in each of the six papers a minimum of 50 percentage or 50 out of 100 or half of the maximum possible row score should be scored to pass the examination next step to examination it's the offline examination and this includes seven subjects medicine and allied subjects surgery and allied subject obstetrics and gynecology pediatrics otorhinolaryngology ophthalmology orthopedics and physical medicine and rehabilitation pma each examination of each subject in next step 2 would comprise of actual cases objective structured clinical examination osc and simulations if possible so what will be the offline mode of the examination and how it will be conducted there will be the actual cases of the patients related case based examination objectively structured clinical type of examination and simulations if possible so that is the format for the next step to examination
next step to scoring as we previously discussed that in the next step to you will get only result pass or fail based on the acquisition of appropriate competencies that is being evaluated the time schedule of next examination and associated events next step one regular examination will going to be conducted in the second week of december and the result will be out on the second week of january next step supplementary examination schedule they will declare later on second mbbs final mbbs part 2 practical or clinical university examinations in the first week of january and the result will be out near to fourth week of january for the internship that will start from the first of the february and your internship will be completed next year on 28th february after that you will be appear for the next step to regular examination in the second week of the march and the result will be out on the first week of the april once you clear all these three examination then you will be eligible to get the final license to practice next step to supplementary examination date and date of result will be declared later on now depending upon the next step one regular examination score you will be eligible for the post graduate admission and this admission process will start from the may to june and this post graduate admission rounds will be completed near to 30th june and the post graduate course will begin from 1st of the july so that is the time schedule of next examination and associated events successful supplementary examination candidates are not allowed to continue with successful regular examination candidate that means the student who will appear for the supplementary examination these students will going to do the internship as a minor batch they are not going to continue with the regular batch all right this is the reference that has been released from 28 december 2022 that is the latest guidelines for the next examination if you like this presentation please share it with your batch groups colleagues and friends thank you so much everyone